Hello and welcome to this lecture series on complex analysis. In this lecture, we are going to discuss two very important theorems of complex integration. One is Cauchy integral theorem and another one is Cauchy integral formula. So these are very important tools in complex analysis or we can say in complex integration. To understand that these theorems or these uh, tools, first we need to understand curves. So let's look on this. Simple curves are those curves in which we don't have any loops. So these are known as simple curve. This is C1 and C2 are simple curve and one more this I have made right now. This is simple curve. It's all curve which are without loop. Multiple curve. This is having loop. This is having multiple loops. So these are multiple curves. Now closed curve. This curve is closed. This curve is closed. It's very simple to check that the curve is closed or open. These are open and these are closed. But one more thing you can observe here. There is some difference between blue, cur blue curves and red curves. Yes. These blue curves are known as simple closed curve. They are not forming any loops in between them. But red curves, they are forming loop. One loop or more than one. In that case, they are called, they are closed. Although they are closed, but they are not simple. So, when I say simple closed curve, then these two are simple closed curve, which are not having any loop. We can understand now reason. Reason or domain. That's two types of domain we need to understand. One is simply connected domain. So, this domain is simply connected domain. This area, which is covered with the simple closed curve, then it, the domain is known as simply connected domain. Now, what about this domain? Okay, this is, uh, you can treat this as a hole inside the paper, a circular paper. Okay, hole. This is the hole. And I'm talking about this region only. So this region is called multiply connected. Similarly here, the region inside the bigger curve and outside the smaller curve this is these two domains are known as multiply connected domain or multiply connected reason. Now, singular point. What are singular point? We are already aware of the analytic function. If you have not yet understand what is analytic function, you can watch my previous video for analytic function. If if function fz is not analytic at a particular point, then that particular point is known as singular point. Okay, we can understand easily with the help of some example. Let me take z upon z minus 7. Okay, z upon z minus 7 is not analytic at only one point that is z equal to 7. So that z equal to 7 point is called singular point. To get the singular point, what you need to do is you just put the denominator equal to 0. So z, z minus 5, z minus 2, put this as equal to 0. So you will get here z equal to 0, z equal to 5 and z equal to 2. So these three points are singular points. Now once we know all these, now we can proceed further and now we can understand what is Cauchy Integral Theorem. So here, capital C is a simple closed curve. So this is a simple closed curve. We are talking about this. And fz is any analytic function. Okay, we need to understand that fz is analytic at each point within and on C. FJ, if FJ is analytic inside this, we are not talking about the outside. Outside may be not analytic, but we need analytic inside this curve C. If that inside and on the boundary, then integration of FJ equal to zero. We make this circle for the closed curve. This integration and you can see here the circle for the closed curve because we are taking closed curve, the closed integration. For the closed integration, we take the circle. So this is equal to zero. Now, how to solve questions? Calculate C Z D Z for mod Z equal to 5. This is question number 1. So, here we can see that Z is an analytic function. Okay, you know that every polynomial is an analytic function. Okay, so Z is a polynomial. So, it is an analytic function. So, so this has to be analytic inside that circle or as well because because that uh, 
जेड इज एनालिटिक ओवरऑल इन दैट ओवरऑल रीजन सो दैट जेड विल बी एनालिटिक इन साइड दैट सर्किल आई हैव टेकन दिस सर्किल मॉर जेड इक्वल टू फाइव हियर सो इफ एफ जेड इज एनालिटिक ओवरऑल रीजन इन दैट होल कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन सो दिस मस्ट बी एनालिटिक इन साइड दैट कर्व सी सो इन दैट केस यूजिंग कॉसी इंटीग्रल थियोरम सी एफ जे सी जेड डी जेड विल बी जीरो दिस इज हाउ वी डू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन जीरो नाउ कैलकुलेट दिस सेकेंड जेड डिवाइडेड बाई जेड माइनस सेवन एंड द कर्व गिवन टू एज एज मॉड जेड इक्वल टू फाइव मॉड जेड इक्वल टू फाइव मीन्स वर्ट मॉड जेड इक्वल टू फाइव इज ए सर्कल ओके इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दिस दैन वॉच माई द फर्स्ट लेक्चर इन विच वी वी हैव कवर्ड दिस थिंग mod z mod z can be written as x square plus y square equal to 5 square so x square plus 5 square equal to 5 5 square means a circle with radius 5 and center at 0 0 z upon z minus 7 is analytic is it yes it is analytic except at z equal to 7 so z equal to 7 is a singular point but now we need to check what is the status of this function inside that circle That z equal to seven lies here somewhere here. Z equal to seven lies outside of the circle region. What does it mean? It means it is analytic for this circular region, and inside that circular, inside this circular region. So z upon z minus seven is analytic inside C. So this function is analytic for that given curve C mod z equal to five. So this is equal to zero. Now similarly we can try the question number three here. Z upon z minus two iota is given to you. Z minus this function, this complete function is not analytic at one point. That is z equal to two iota. But z equal to two iota lies outside outside of that circle. So this can this is again zero because this lies outside of that circle. Z equal to one. This is the mod Z equal to one circular region. This is the statement for Cauchy integral theorem for multiply connected domain. In case of multiply connected domain, as we already seen that what is multiply connected domain? Multiply connected domain means this area outside of C one, C two, C three, outside of this and inside of C. In that case, if F Z is analytic in this region, this complete region means. we are not saying what about this inside this inside this inside this we are saying only about the outside c1 c2 c3 and inside c in that case c fz dz will be given by c1 fz dz plus c2 fz dz plus c3 fz dz this is cauchy integral theorem for multiply connected domain cauchy integral formula here c is a simple closed curve and fz is analytic inside at each point within c then and on c and a is any point within c for this but what about fz upon z minus a look at here fz is analytic inside this but fz upon z minus a is analytic or not that we need to check fz is analytic given to you inside c but what about fz upon z minus a that is not given to us then the fz upon z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i f of a And f z upon z minus a raised to the power n d z equal to two pi i factorial n minus one f n minus a at point a f n minus a means d raised to the power n minus one divided by d z n minus one. That means we need to differentiate it n minus one times uh, that f z and then put z equal to f of z first calculate this and then put z equal to a this thing is this now we need to remember one thing fz is analytic this fz is analytic but fz upon z minus a we don't know about this thing fz upon z minus a we don't know but fz is analytic i am facing this point again and again let's see how to solve this question and what is the procedure so here is the qu question evaluate this exponential z exponential z is an analytic function divided by z minus 2 whole cube dz where capital c is the circle and two questions are given 
and capital C is the circle mod z equal to 4. So first is the procedure. Now step first, take as z as the given integrand. The given integrand, so whatever be the given to you, suppose this is given to you in this time. So take this as capital as z. Okay, find singular point of capital as z. How to find singular point of capital as z? Put denominator equal to 0. In this case, z minus 2 whole cube equal to 0. So this implies what will I get? z equal to 2 as my singular point. Number 3, step number 3. Step th number 3rd, check if these singular points lies inside or outside of the given curve. If all the singular point lies outside capital C, suppose all the singular point lies outside capital C, then the given function is analytic and we can use Cauchy integral theorem as we have done in the previous case. Cauchy integral theorem and C adj dz will be 0. If any if at least one point lies inside that that singular point lies inside that we will go for step 5 now we will try to extract that analytic part from that edge yet and that analytic part will be known as fz and now once fz is known then i will write that as fz upon z minus a either this form or fz upon z minus a raised to the power n dz either this form but you need to remember here that fz will be that which is this analytic okay whatever be the analytic for that particular curve that will be treated as fz now we will solve this question definitely we will understand with the help of this question here fz equal to this and this c is given to you mod z equal to 1. Singular points are z equal to 2 already calculated. Now for mod z equal to 1 okay mod z equal to 1 put z equal to 2 put this value in this what is given to you mod z equal to 1. Now substitute z equal to 2 in place of that. So what I will get here 2. 2 is if 2 is greater than the radius if 2 is greater than the radius, this value is greater than the radius, this is greater than the radius, then lies outside. Okay, if less than the radius, then inside. You can see that. If any value is less than radius, then that will be lies inside. If any value is greater than the radius, then that will be lies outside. So, this is, this is greater than 2, uh, 1, that radius. 1 is the radius. So this is lies outside. So I can say this because this is lies outside. So this complete function is analytic for this curve. So exponential z divided by this dz will be 0. I can apply cos e theorem here. Next question number 2. Part 2. Fz equal to exponential z divided by z minus 2 whole cube. Here, mod z equal to 4 given to you. Okay, singular point again same. But what is the difference? Let's see. Mod z equal to 4 given to you. Now, the point we need to check is z equal to 2. When we'll put z equal to 2, I will get 2 here, which is less than the radius. Radius is 4, which is less than the radius. Radius equal to 4. So, this means this z equal to 2 lies inside the curve. The curve is changed now. So, lies inside the curve. So, the edge jet is not analytic but what is analytic now exponential z only that exponential z is analytic now i can apply cosy integral formula and this is treated as fz divided by z minus a whole cube fz divided by z minus a whole cube if you can see here see fz upon z minus a raised power and dz equal to 2 pi i equal to 2 pi i divided by factorial n minus 1 into d raised to power n minus 1 fz divided by dz2 at z equal to 2. So I need to differentiate this fz twice. Luckily here fz is exponential z and exponential z I will differentiate two times. So I will get again exponential z. So putting the value z equal to 2 putting the value z equal to this is equal to exponential square question is 
क्वेश्चन इवेल्युएट साइन जेड अपॉन जेड माइनस थ्री जेड माइनस वन डी जेड वेर कैपिटल सी इज द सर्किल मॉड जेड इक्वल टू टू एंड नंबर सेकेंड पार्ट इज दिस सो विल डू इट वन बाय वन फर्स्ट पार्ट अगेन एच जेड विल बी दिस कंप्लीट विज बी ट्रीटेड एज एच जेड नाउ कैपिटल सी इज इक्वल टू मॉड जेड इक्वल टू टू सिंगलो पॉइंट put denominator equal to 0 z equal to 1 and z equal to 3 are my singular point now i need to check which point lies inside and which point lies outside put j mod z equal to 2 so put z equal to 1 so z equal to 1 less than the radius radius is 2 so this is lies out inside this is lies inside and z equal to 3 3 is greater than the radius radius equal to 2 3 is greater than radius so so lies outside z equal to 3 lies outside so z equal to 3 lies outside means what 1 upon z minus 3 is analytic for this curve 1 upon z minus 3 is analytic for this curve in and sin z is already analytic so fz is my analytic function is sin z upon z minus 3 for this particular curve only mod z equal to 2 so take right fz sin z upon z minus 3 divided by z minus 1 dz so fz upon z minus a dz equal to 2 pi i f of a so this is equal to 2 pi i fz is what sin z upon z minus 3 here fz will be that which will be analytic for that particular curve so sin 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1 means uh, because oh sorry z f of 1 Uh, f of one one minus two sorry it should be minus two now second part here mod of this is mod of z equal to four for second part mod of z equal to four circle is given to you singular point again same z equal to one and z equal to four both are lies inside how if we will put z equal to one here z equal to one means one less than four z equal to three i will put z equal to three So three, which is again less than four, so this point is also lies inside. So both point are lies inside. In that case, we cannot apply directly Cauchy integral formula. We will go for partial fraction. So partial fraction of one upon z minus three divided by z minus one. This is given by one upon two z minus three minus one upon two z minus one. So you need get the partial fraction of these. This thing. So, what does it mean? It means c sine z z minus three into z minus one dz equal to this minus this. Okay. Now I can apply Cauchy integral formula for this z minus three that is lies inside. So two pi i one upon two is there. F z is what sine z only. In this case, F z is what sine z. Because z minus three one upon z minus three is not analytic. One upon z minus three is not analytic for this curve because it lies inside that curve. Similarly, one upon z minus one is not analytic for this curve because one upon z minus one sorry z minus z equal to one lies inside this curve. So apply Cauchy integral formula for this. I got this. Apply Cauchy integral formula for this. I got this. So we got this. Finally, pi i sine three minus sine one. Okay, this is all about Cauchy integral formula and Cauchy integral theorem. Please practice some more questions related to that. In case of any doubt, you can comment. Thank you.